Welcome to Celebrating Act Two, the Founders Vlog Tool Guys Talking About Stuff. <laughs> stuff, important stuff, too. Why? Yeah, as I a matter of fact, stuff. talking about important stuff, John, have you been following this banking stuff going on? Oh, man. Jeez. You know, I, I, I have to tell you, we, in a sense, we represent the senior crowd, the people over 50. You know, we're, we're trying to help everybody uh, in the second half of their life. And I have to tell you, it's so, it seems so obvious to me that this, not only the inflation, but this banking crisis, whatever we're going through, all of this stuff is, seems to be greatly influenced, if not ca caused by, our government. And, and they, of all people, should know that seniors get hurt by this, this inflation and everything else more than anybody else. Most of us are on a fixed income, you know. Whatever money we're earning as greeters at Walmart isn't going to make a dent in our income. So we really need them to manage the economy in a in a realistic and a, a responsible way. They're not doing it. They're not well, doing it. Hold on a second. Uh, is, what's the opposite of Debbie Downer? <laughs> okay. Is there like a Ulysses Upper? Okay. I, I'm going to be Ulysses Upper for a moment. Okay, okay, please do. And, and I have to say, my phraseology here, I hope that you'll appreciate is, been there, done that, had it happen to me. Okay, this is, you know, we're now at the point where we have more or less fixed income. Okay, yeah. it's, it's relatively predictable, whether it be redraw withdrawals from uh, IRA kind of accounts or uh, Social Security or even interest on investments, uh, they don't vary that much. Right. So that we're relatively fixed as opposed to years when we might earn a lot and have terrific years and stash them away if we had half a brain, which we, I only had a quarter of a brain, so I didn't put as much away as I'd like. But the, these are cycles that happen over and over again. And as far as, uh, so one of the things is, I think we're just gonna live through this, unless you happen to have a couple of million dollars in a regional bank, and you're worried that somebody's not going to cover the insured amount over 250000 We should have that problem, you and I. Right. Now, if we had that problem, we'd be complaining about it. But the truth of the matter is, is that it's not the government's fault. It's our fault for having bought government to say, take the regulations off. So, you know, it's a two-way street. It's, this is the kind of stuff that happens over and over again. Uh, it's more dangerous now because it used to be a bank run. You'd have to go to the bank and wait till it opened and take money out. And, you know, like, uh, what was it? Uh, who's the one? Uh, the, the, the movie that comes around Christmas every time. It's a wonderful life. And then run on the bank. Now you just pick oh, up yeah. your, your your smartphone and transfer the money out. I mean, dumb. So, I mean, there are scarier things now about all that stuff. But I guess the truth of the matter is for most of us, I don't see that as being the biggest problem in the world, so I'm just not as worried about it. Again, I don't have more than $250,000 in a, a regional bank, or too many banks for that matter. So, you know, the, 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 the problem is that it just, I think it's scarier than it is practical for most of us. Um, I don't know, that's just the way I feel. Well, I would... I would disagree with you on the level of its importance to us, to us mm -hmm. who are retired. Um, because even though, yes, we've been here, done that, been through all this before, and yes, it will pass, um, it's the seniors who get hurt. Sure. And we, we, we do feel it. We feel it immediately. We feel it in our you know, ability to buy food, to buy gas, things like that. So I... I I would not underplay um, the the harm that it does to seniors, but you are right. This too shall pass, um, one way or the other. We're all going to come out of it. Um, it's the old pendulum swinging back and forth. Uh, you know, there'll be a correction. Somebody will step up and say, "Hey, stupid, bam, yeah, <laughs> fix it." Um, and the same thing with Social Security. You know, they've been talking about Social Security. For years, no politician will touch Social Security. They're scared to even say the words, but we all know that it needs to be managed better, fixed, something. You know, it it just needs something. 
And uh, I'm hoping somebody with courage will stand up and and say, here's here's let's get put a bipartisan commission together, whatever they they do in Washington. Uh, I think come up with some solutions. I I think that probably um, why it affects us when I say us as as a group of seniors more, even if we're uh, some of us very well off, some of us we know that we'll probably be able to to outlive our money. uh, Although it's getting harder and harder with the the longer and healthier life uh, styles that we have, but I guess really what it comes down to is that it affects seniors more because there's less that we think we can do about it. And that's probably true because there's, when we were a lot younger, we had more time in front of us yeah. than behind us. So that we said, well, we'll, we'll, we'll save money, more money, and we'll have uh, better investments and so on and so forth, or I'll take a flyer on this. What if I lose it all? Now we can't be so uh, right. uh, carefree about uh, taking risks and things like that, although some of us still do. Uh, so, and by the way, I, I, I do want to add one other note, okay? You, were, you made a, a snide remark about the Walmart greeters. I was uh, uh, passing a, a McDonald's the other day, uh, going from hither to yon, and it was specific. I wasn't going from yon to hither. I was going hither to yon, which meant I had some time to pay attention to what's going on. And I saw that there was a, a sign on the window saying, hiring starting at $17 an hour and up. Yeah. Well, seventeen dollars oh, yeah. an hour is what? That's a hundred seventy times four would be four five five forty a week. That's an extra twenty grand a year, and you probably get a free, uh, you know, Big Mac uh, a, a day on your shift, and maybe a, an order of fries and all the the, the soda toy. you want. Yeah. So that's not a bad little bit of extra. So listen, when you become a greeter and that money you laugh at, send them my way. Yeah, well, that unfortunately, that seventeen fifty an hour doesn't buy what it used to. That's no. our that's the problem we're living with. Sure. But I listen for everybody who's uh, in our tribe, that is everybody with gray hair or over fifty. Uh, do me a favor, just check your finances, check your accounts, check, go find an advisor, mm. just take a look at everything, see where you stand. Make sure um, you're in good position for to ride out this this current wave of uh, financial woes. And by the way, John, uh, that's really great advice, and I'm glad that you shared that. But you didn't share the most important advice, which exactly. is if you're in our boat, okay, you know, you're a little bit older and you're worried about what's going on in the world. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Go visit our website. Of course, so that. We can keep you up to date on all the things that are important in your life. Yep. Give you good advice and encouragement. For more on Celebrating Act Two, visit our webpage, follow us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and tell your friends. Celebrating Act Two is the user manual for the second half of your life.